Wollongong has a lot of secrets and this funky award-winning bar is one of them. How Wolf is here for you to indulge in whiskey, cider and the occasional board game. I'm not much of a whiskey drinker myself, but I've got Bianca and Marge here to show me the ropes. This segment is made possible by Wollongong Central. Discover the city. Bianca, can you tell me a little bit about the idea behind Howl and Wolf Bar? Well, the bar opened in 2013 as a way to kind of sell whiskey in Wollongong. There wasn't anything very similar in the area at the time. And it's nice to have somewhere that's a bit different from your normal club where it's just, you know, really gross, loud music and you can't hear your friends and it smells. And here we've got a nice vibe and live music a lot of the time and you can try something that's a lot nicer than just vodka. We mainly offer whiskey. We've got nearly 200 whiskies from different regions. So we have them from Scotland, Ireland, America, all over the place, really. We even have one from Taiwan. Has the, uh, <laughs> has the Wollongong taste in scotch, has it come a long way since the bars opened? Were, were people used to drinking fine whiskey? I don't think so. I think that when we first opened, people were kind of a bit hesitant to try it. Yeah. I think a lot of people have just had their granddad's whiskey. Uh, but now we have lots of people who know nearly as much as the yeah. bartenders, and so we're always having to keep on our toes and read lots. <laughs> <laughs> so that they don't know more than us. So you also put on some live music to yeah. entertain people whilst they're enjoying their whiskey. What kind of music and shows do you put on? It depends, it changes every week. So we have a girl, Michaela, books all of our music and she's always on the lookout in Wollongong and Sydney and even as far as Melbourne, looking for bands that you think suit our vibe. We play lots of blues, which is kind of what the bar was named after originally, the original Howl and Wolf. Mm -hmm. uh, but we also have like folk, we have rock, we have all kinds of different things. Uh, and Saturday nights are great too, if you want to have a dance with a vinyl DJ. I think that sounds awesome. I would love to dance <laughs> with a vinyl DJ. <laughs> and once you have a couple of these scotches, you'd be more you can, willing yeah. to uh, hit the dance floor. Are you enjoying I the think scotch? I'd also be heaps better at Jenga after a couple uh, of years. Absolutely. <laughs> So we've been talking a lot about whiskey, but time for the time for the main round, time to try it. Uh, so first I've got you tasting the Glenmorangie, which is in a sherry cask. So most Scotch whiskey starts its life in an ex-bourbon barrel, so it's not all the sweet things have already been taken out of it by the bourbon, but then they put it into a sherry cask so that it is imparted with some of the flavour from the sherry, which makes it really kind of fruity and lovely, and it's probably one of my favourite whiskies. Wow, that is uh, super, super smooth. Fragrant? What do you think? I would agree with those things. So you're, you're not a I've, big... I've never drunk whiskey until today. I didn't hate it, so that's a good start. And then next up, I've got the Habiki, which is a Suntory whiskey. It's blended, which is usually blended whiskies aren't quite as nice, but this one's beautiful, I think, just mostly because it's Japanese. And the Japanese use a different type of oak barrel to store it in, so you probably get a little bit of a different flavour out of that. It should be very balanced. Okay, so I can taste that they're different, but I, but I wouldn't know how to explain how they're different. Maybe because the, the Japanese whiskey is, is blended, you can you can sort of taste it, it's a bit harsher. This last one will be a bit of an interesting thing to try. If you're not really into whiskey, it's very different. So it's from an, the region of Scotland called Isla. And so when they're drying out the malt, they, the barley, sorry, they use peat. And so the peat smoke is imparted into the barley, which when they distill it, is also imparted into the whiskey. <laughs> Are you all right? Are you all right? It's um. That is beautiful. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed that one. I do like the Glenmorangie though. That that is a uh, that's that's beautiful. But there's a lot of fine whiskies at the Howling Wolf, so any one of these would be a pleasure if you're a whiskey drinker. Look, I think I might almost be converted on the Glenmorangie. Almost. Welcome. I yeah. Welcome to the Thank club. you. Um, it's going to take a bit of bit of work to get to the Ardbeg though, but I'll try. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Welcome to the whiskey drinking community. If you are after a strong drink and some great company, you can find it right here on Lower Crown Street. To find out more, head to Facebook and check out Howl and Wolf Bar. In the Loop thanks our media partners, Illawarra Mercury and I-98. In the Loop is made possible by Advantage Wollongong, a superior business location. University of Wollongong. Destination Wollongong. Visit Wollongong.com.au Internetrix, explorers of all things web and digital. People Care, health cover full of mwah. Illawarra Credit Union, experience a new way of banking. 
Wollongong Central. Discover the city.